Avain Tony or Victor Simen. Reckless talk. Son of a gusta. Hey, reckless talk. But I got expensive habits. Don't step in soul. All right, how's it going, everyone? Dom from Kenya Goodness TV. You're back again with another video. It's the international break, two weeks international break. Ah, I'm already feeling bored this weekend of football. Ah, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so, couple of updates. Uh, basically, actually, just came across this article, and I thought probably maybe it's best I show it you guys. Let me know what you think by the comment section. So, Ava and Tony or Victor Simen? Let me know what you think in the comment section. So basically, uh, Ivan Tony, by the rumors, actually happy that uh, chances are Ivan Tony by might be joining Arsenal. Uh, that is during the January uh, the January window. As you all are aware, the guy actually by the uh, <coughs> is actually facing uh, if he's actually facing an eight month ban uh, with the gambling policies. Uh, yeah, but I think January by the guy will be available and most likely by the brand will be selling him. Yeah, so I think that's a player that we probably need to see if he can sign. Uh, and then there's also Victor Simen. Uh, but you remember Victor Simen actually, where he is right now, is actually having problems. I don't want to get into what happened, but you all, you all are aware of what happened. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so basically, that is it. If you look at the, if you look at our club right now, if you look at Arsenal right now, uh, basically all the departments actually functioning very well. Our defense is actually functioning very well. Our midfield is actually very solid one part one missing part of the jigsaw that we probably need to uh, find is the force department the wings we are perfectly all right maybe because because actually also needs a replacement but on his end uh but now the number nine the center forward position that's where all the problems are we need to get a finishing strike we need to get that guy who has that killer instinct and i think uh ivan tony being available uh that's probably maybe a player that we we still need to see but if we can get during the january window as you all as you all are aware i mean uh looking at arsenal right now uh i'm even sure by the way even behind me okay the coach but the work of the coach is also to make sure that he protects his players but let's just be real ed is not the guy he's a good guy i mean he has a very interesting personality from what i hear and from what i see but uh i mean this is football I mean, uh, as, as as fans, it's pointless being attached by the, these players. So <clears throat> he's been a good guy. He's made his contributions. But as far as getting the job done, I don't think anybody is a guy to get us there. I think you've all seen it, by the way. Uh, looking at, uh, he's not really owning that that shot. Uh, I mean, the theory Henry shot. So I think it's now time by the AD. It's time for him to go. Probably maybe, you know, do a swap day by this January window. Yeah, because uh, we need a we, we definitely need a strike. Even Roy King, I have been listening to pundits. I'm sure you guys have also been li listening to pundits. I mean, if we were to win the Premier League, yeah, because right now actually we uh, we prove to be solid in terms of score depth and we're actually now operating like a big club. So if we were to win the league, that missing part of the jigsaw, uh, the center forward position, that number nine position, but then we need to get that fixed. So we have a couple of guys available. Ivan Tony, by the most likely, he's really interested by then uh, joining Arsenal. Uh, now, if an, if you have been watching football, and you all know by the that uh, Salib is actually one of the best defenders right now. From the game we watched by the last uh, last weekend, that was Arsenal versus Man City. You saw how the guy kept Haaland by the probably maybe Haaland is still in his pocket right now, but you saw how the guy defends so well. But now. Look at the game we played last season by the versus Brentford. I'm telling you, Ivan Tony bullied Saliba. He bullied Saliba by the whole game. He's one of those solid players, you know, so strong, so energetic. And, you know, he just has a winning mentality. I think last season by the he had 20 goals. And you can imagine, that's just Brentford. Even, even, even if you look at Brentford right now, you can clearly say that Ivan Tony absence by the is definitely conspicuous because if you look at their brain for his play he's playing right now i mean i don't know what position they are but they're struggling and it's clear that the missing part by the in brentford right now is uh ivan tony 
yeah so that's that's a player that we need to see if he can get in january yeah uh uh what else what else what else so like uh there's a debate that is basically going on right now and i'm actually but they also just going to talk about this and let you guys let me let me let me know what you think by the end of the comment section as well so now remember the debate here actually we're, we're, we're now uh not even caught up in a dilemma one 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 what one, one would say like you know one would argue that ivan tony by the way in being he's been banned he's not had enough game he's not had enough game time so does that now mean that if he now comes but in january he'll definitely struggle because you know i mean as a player as a player or even just as a normal human being if you if not been at work by there for quite a period of time when you come back you definitely you know need to pick up form you know you need to struggle and then also remember this is a new club that he'll be joining so like do you think he's also going to struggle well, with settling in uh you know but i believe with his mentality and uh the fact that you know the guy stays in london i mean he's 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 there he's he's there so i mean settling in but there shouldn't be a problem but uh the fact that you know he's been banned he's not been you know he's not been playing yes he's been training by the way uh behind the scenes but he's not been playing in the premier league so could that be a factor that probably maybe might lead to him not functioning very well during the January uh, when he when he sends for Arsenal? Now, on the other hand, Victor Simeon, one of the best players, but would we spend 150? I don't know how much the girl would be worth right now, but would we spend 150? Get this right, by the Victor Simeon is one of the best strikers actually I've seen. I've seen his highlights, but would we spend 150 by there buying uh, Victor Simeon? And the question is yes he's been playing he's uh, you know uh you know he's he's had enough game time by the way wherever he is but the question is he's not based in london so if he's to come in london with the distractions you know settling in uh let me put it in simple man's language uh let me give an example of uh if you're based in kenya all right if you're based in kenya right now and then you get a job in uh say south africa yeah you do realize you know there's the transition of phase and remember january the january we are now when when you reach when 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 you clock january that's now the end business of you know the premier league so at that point by the way would you risk uh you know buying a player i mean look at modric by the way modric to date i'll give an example of modric and trossard trossard by those playing at uh brighton using the premier league came in I mean, immediately, instantly fit in by then the squad, in the uh, Arsenal. Look at Mudrik, came in, struggle, probably still struggling up to now. Up to now, he only has one goal. I think he scored the other just, you no, know, I think two get two two weeks ago. That was his first goal. So like you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, you know, those are thoughts that probably maybe you know, I'm just trying to look at it from a three dimensional perspective. Yeah, but you know, uh, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But this January window, I'm, a, I'm actually glad. Looking at our club right now, uh, we've now brought in that winning mentality. You know? I mean, Mikel Ateta by this is actually doing wonders. Big up, Mikel. Yeah, so like, uh, if, we, if we can just get a perfect number nine, yeah, then I think we should be good to go. Honestly, I don't see why we can't win the league. By the way, even Roy Keane even said it. That missing part of the jigsaw, we need to get that replacement. So anyway, let me know. Your, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. A uh, couple of things actually, we are doing very well as a channel. The road right now is actually to a thousand subs. We're almost getting there. So just make sure about this. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Smash the notification button. And all these things that these guys tell you. Yeah, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Come on, you gunas.